Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be showcasing off the difference between the puzzle rings with the ancient puzzle ring as well as the regular puzzle ring. These will both open up the doors to the vault via the Kanai's cube and will access an area that is full of treasure goblins. But anyways, to actually acquire the puzzle ring, it's just a random drop. You can get it with Kadala, you can get it off of uh, crafting it with the Hope of Cain recipe, but you will need to happen to have the uh, Kanai's cube in order to access this and if you do not have it What you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go to the ruins of Seshron to obtain it And I have a full video guide in case any of you guys do want to know where the heck to get this cube So one thing just as a heads up make sure you don't have the uh, Extract legendary power open up when you go ahead and put in the puzzle ring here uh, So what you're gonna go ahead and do is all you do is place it right in there and you hit transmute And I kind of want to also add some more of a discussion to it because uh, the ancient Puzzle ring is different than the regular one and we'll showcase off the differences and let's go ahead and go on in and uh, show off the vault area. So here is indeed the vault. Uh, usually you want to try to go in with a group of friends. Basically what it allows you to do is get a bunch of gold. So if you want to you can throw in a bunch of gold find and other uh, items that can actually help you gain other uh, materials, uh, specifically the gems. This is an excellent spot for the gems. You can throw in the Broken Crown, the uh, Kusurian Wrist Guards. There's a lot of items um, that will help you out and get more loot. But I'm also here to kind of show off the difference between both of them because I know in the community people have been uh, talking about if the rings are even worth it because the game only goes up to Torment 16, right? Uh, where you probably get more value out of just doing a Greater Rift 75, which would be the equivalent here. However, what this area does offer is a bunch of gold, and at the very end there is a legendary gem that can only be acquired by uh, eliminating the boss over here in the Inner Sanctum. It's actually a pretty fast run, but the thing is is that there's a huge downtime in between being able to activate multiple puzzle rings. So. Uh, let's go ahead and show off the mechanic. Uh, so at the very end, there's a, a boss over here. His name's Greed. He does have a charge move, but uh, we might not see it. You also kind of want to dodge that. But for the most part, he's not very difficult. Uh, once you can clear it, like, uh, Torment 16 content. Um, if you do wait, uh, and that's something I will show off, there will be multiple goblins that will spawn out of him. And originally, the idea was to actually just wait it out for him to spawn all those goblins, but at this point in the game, it's actually much more viable to go ahead and just do rifts and greater rifts to actually acquire legendaries. But out of the chest, you will get a Boon of the Hoarder gem if you don't already have that, which will grant you the ability to go ahead and pick up a bunch of gold here. So, so we can kind of compare both the regular and the ancient one. Let's go ahead and check out how many legendaries we got from the first one, and if any of them are actually <laughs> that great. Let's go ahead and actually go to Act 1 over here, just because it's a little bit more clean to see uh, the difference in the amount of legendaries that we just acquired here. So, uh, first off, uh, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this one we already had in the very beginning. So we got 6 of them, and uh, let's see how many were ancient over here. None were ancient. Because I know some people will argue that in the uh, ancient vault, the items have a higher chance to be ancient or primal. Honestly, that's really not the case. It just really comes down to a randomness. But as far as these go, we we'll, won't we'll count these. Now, there is kind of an exception in the rule to the puzzle ring because if you get a blue goblin, that significantly changes the result. So let's go ahead and now hop into the ancient um, legendary uh, puzzle ring over here and check out the results from this. So once again, there's no difference when you activate this. All you do is put it in and you go ahead and hit transmute. I know my cam is blocking the cube, but it's the exact same mechanic over here. And just go ahead and transmute. Now this one will be different as you guys will see. Now this one will say it is the ancient vault. And even though there is technically a primal uh, variant of the ring, it's the exact same uh, as the ancient vault. I wish it was called like the primal uh, but this one will have way, 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 way more goblins. It has way better loot over here. So, And also kind of want to serve this video as a purpose to, um, is the vault worth it? And you might be wondering why. I'll get into that in a moment. So let's go ahead and just eliminate all the goblins here. They're all stacked up over here. And uh, you'll get a lot better um, results because of the amount of goblins that simply will just exist here. And sometimes you can actually have the goblins aggro through the door. So be careful on uh, not p 
picking up everything immediately. Make sure you just try to eliminate the goblins just in case one activates. You don't want them to run away, basically. But you can see, look at all those goblins that are stacked over here. It's just night and day difference uh, between the amount of legendaries that you'll be getting here. Make sure none of these guys get away. But we should be able to melt them very, very fast. We'll go back and collect them after. It's just because in the off chance that uh, one of them did aggro, I want to make sure that uh, none of them get away. Because that would be terrible for the video, right? If any of these little guys escape. Because they can't escape if you don't eliminate them fast enough. I just want to make sure none of them kind of slipped by over here. Because sometimes they're sneaky. Alright. There's a big one over here. Snitchly. And you can see it. In the Ancient Vault, there's a lot more. You're going to get a lot better resources. Um, but I'm going to collect everything now. And one thing that I, I just want to go ahead and mention, don't go in and defeat the boss because then you'll be on that one-minute timer to where the vault closes. So we're going to get a lot of Death's Breaths over here as well. And I'll show you guys the results from multiple, multiple puzzle rings here. Um, but I'm going to kind of s summarize it up because otherwise the video would be over an hour long. Because <laughs> uh, I was just doing back-to-back-to-back of these goblins and you can pick up the yellows it's not that bad you can go into town and uh, instantly uh, disenchant them so you can get your veal crystals so you can go ahead and either attempt to go craft more puzzle rings but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick because I am running low on veal crystals because I was actually trying to craft the puzzle ring via the hope of cane recipe for this video and uh, getting an ancient one is definitely not easy you can also try reforging the weapon uh, in the cube as well but overall i would say it's probably not worth it uh, unless you just want to go ahead and do it for like a video or something um because honestly the the regular vault isn't really worth it and, I, and like i said i'll get into that in a moment because of the um the highest scaled difficulty now the ancient vault is usually going to be worth it we didn't get a blue goblin that can definitely make the results go way 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 out of control but uh here, let's go ahead and drop these legendaries over here, so maybe this will be good, a better uh, location for comparison. But we'll go ahead and also identify them and check out the differences between the uh, two over here. So uh, we still have to have the boss, so I, I would still count that, uh, so we'll go ahead and do that, actually. And then we'll go ahead and check out all the items and we'll throw them on the ground. And then we'll kind of compare the differences between the two and then also talk more about results and if the vault is worth it. Because what originally made me want to make this video is someone was saying like they were they were saying that the vault wasn't even worth it like the inner sanctum over here um and that is because it actually has a huge downtime if you're trying to save up your rings it's not worth it to save a bunch of rings and pop them all at once it's actually much better to do these right in between doing a regular riff while you're waiting for that 30 seconds to go down oh we did get a primal we did get a primal but let's go and check out what was the primal actually. Oh, it was something that's terrible. <laughs> but that's just how it goes with Diablo sometimes. But with the ancient one, maybe maybe there's a higher chance for primals, man. Uh, honestly, I, I just think that it just comes down to RNG. I know for the video, we did happen to get one. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and check out how many we got over here. So I'm going to put the uh, results of the ancient one over here. We'll go and mouse over and see if anything uh, really sticks out. Actually, let me go and actually disenchant some of the yellow so they're just completely out of the way here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, and that is comparing sixteen to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the results definitely speak for themselves as far as, um, you know, how many are you getting? And obviously we got one primal with that one and uh, no primals with the other one. Again, it just comes down to your luck, your RNG here at the game. But now that you guys have seen the results, even though I think for better results, you would have to do these hundreds and hundreds in time to get a more accurate result. But the best part is we did not get a blue goblin because that actually messes up the results by quite a bit, um, as you guys will see in just a moment. So now that you guys have seen kind of like the uh, basic results, I want to go ahead and take this a step further and talk about the results after doing the uh, treasure goblin runs for over an hour here. Uh, and I want to give you guys the results. So anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into that. Alright guys, so now let's show off the results from an additional 12 regular puzzle rings over here. And uh, this won't be counting the two that you guys did see in the very beginning. These are separate, 
But here are the results as far as the crafting materials that we acquired doing these 12 runs. So you can see over on the right all the numbers on the crafting materials and the Death's Breath and the Forgotten Souls are relatively low uh, for these areas, but it really depends if you get that blue goblin or not. And we do end up getting one of the blue goblins, which will actually drop more goblins when you actually destroy it. So that will actually kind of skew the results depending on how many you get, but we just happen to get one in these uh, 12 additional runs. And then for the blood shards, we acquired 1631 blood shards. And uh, I also want to mention, while you're doing these, there is a huge delay in between the uh, vaults. Once the vault actually closes, you actually have to wait one minute compared to a regular rift, which you only have to wait 30 seconds, which over the course of time, it does add up quite fast. Now, as far as gems go, the gems are actually pretty good. If you are interested in getting gems, the goblins are still actually quite great for gems. But later, as you progress down the line, um, you still can utilize those gems for, of course, your augments on your gear so i think it's still a viable option if you want to go ahead and throw in the broken crown to get more gems that's also another option and then as far as the gold we got a ton of gold we actually got three billion gold over here uh, from these runs and this is with no additional gold finding gear i'm not trying to spec out for it because sometimes people will spec into their gold find gear to go ahead and go into the vault and that's really the only thing that the vault will offer if we look at the results especially with what i think everyone really wants to know is these legendary legendaries and as far as the primals go i wouldn't say that the vault offers a really great option to go ahead and grab uh, legendaries as far as the primals go there's not like a higher chance to gain primals or ancients over in the uh puzzle ring mechanic but as far as the results go i think that it's much better to go ahead and just do the rifts as well as the greater rifts for these rings and like i said this video is quite extensive so i'm just going to go ahead and just skip around here while i go ahead and talk a little bit about it so i really think the puzzle rings need a buff and the reason why i'm talking about the regular ones the ancient ones are still definitely worth doing but i think overall the regular puzzle rings if we're to go ahead and again look at these 12 runs uh, from regular ones it's usually not worth it the best suggestion that i can give you guys is go ahead and run these in between waiting for those 30 seconds on those rifts and you'll have much better results because if you wait for that additional like one minute like you guys are seeing over here you're going to actually run into the situation where it's not really worth doing in fact i would say you're much better off just doing rifts as well as greater rifts uh, for the results of even just doing the regular rifts you're getting those rift keystones to do greater rifts and therefore you're able to upgrade your gems as well i think that the regular puzzle ring definitely needs a buff in some way and i'm curious to know what you guys think uh should be buffed about it because at the moment all it really does offer is gold and gems and those kind of fall off later down the line in the game but i think that the puzzle ring is a very special mechanic and i would love for them to go ahead and make it a little bit stronger so it's actually worth it for most of us to go ahead and do but anyways those are my results and my findings from it let me know what you think about it down below and if you were to buff it how would you buff it because at the moment in diablo Three, the gold mechanic isn't really something that we really need to go ahead and utilize, and that is simply due to uh, gold just not having a big impact on the game. I know it helps you reroll things, as well as do an additional uh, roll potentially on a gem in a greater rift. But again, if you look at the time that is spent in this vault, it's almost not worth it, uh, especially with the regular ones. So anyways, that's my thought. Let me know yours down below. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, drop a like on it. And if you are new here and would like to see more Diablo as well as other gaming content, hit subscribe, turn on that bell, and you'll definitely see more in the future. But thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. And I'm signing out. Peace.